everything connected here uh, in a typical setup. I have only one actuator connected to show as an example how to deal with the uh, EMI and how to power everything from a single wall outlet. Uh, so you can see that's the box there, the AMC controller, USB hub to connect to the PC, of course the PC, and the, how the power is distributed, it goes to the servo drive, the actuator. So I'm going to walk through closer to show how this holds connected. So you can connect everything from a single uh, outlet then you can split it uh, for one to go to the box that you have here with the switch and the filter for the servo and the other one is the the one that you can connect the strip that connects the PC, the peripheral powers, and everything there. Uh, right here, how connected the screen, the PC, and the uh, USB uh, hub, which is connected, powered. So this way, this won't draw anything from the PC. Uh, the hub is connected directly on the back, the port, so it's connected on the motherboard directly, not on the top. Some of them they have connections on the top, which is best to avoid for this kind because they have lots of interferences. It might be good enough for a mouse or a, a, a mass storage device or something else, USB stick. Um, so, like I said, I have everything connected here. That's the AMC, it's connected here, it's standby. Right now there's nothing activated. <coughs> I'm gonna activate the servos. Okay. So you can see there the power is there. I run this on 110 volts, so um, I can power directly everything from the same. But uh, if you needed to power uh, the servo drives with 220 volts, you can always use a converter like this one that converts from 110 volts to 220 volts. Just a little extra box. So you can see here, you can move the actuator. Or I can do the manual test to move with the mouse. Okay. Now, uh, so when you want to turn off the servos, you can just click the switch. The thing is part off. It's disconnected from here. So as soon as you turn it on again, it will calibrate, it will be ready to be used again. And uh, let me do a quick measurement of the noise, I have a little uh, EMI so you can see it measures uh, a few things, electric fields. So I'm gonna place it near the power. This is the input, so I need to make sure that it won't have interferences uh, in about uh, two figures away, which is uh, very minimal, you can see there. Then on to the output. You can see here the output the noisy side you can see it gets more indifferences and this is the power input right 
and this is uh, the cables the data cable it has zero interferences here too so everything should be isolated these cables the data cables is isolated and uh, the point is connecting everything like that is you don't have uh, ground loops so this one for example uh, it won't make ground loop because the ground is isolated on the connector but still has the protection for the shield uh, the only way to make the ground to go from the servo will be through the sasses if you have a metal sasses it's the actuator is connected on it so then the, you have the power that goes to a single point the ground through the filter everything uh, on add up uh, on a single uh, power strip for both for the computer so they both end up in the wall and uh, so this way when you have connected parts like this is the USB it won't electrically make a loop because this seal is disconnected on this side so the only way you're gonna have a, a loop if you have a some metal uh, uh, peripheral that will go ground loop there to make a loop between essentially the computer and the actuator otherwise you should have everything like star connection the ground one ground go to the PC one ground to go to the actuator and this will be uh, all uh, in single points so you don't have ground loops okay so if you connect the PC on one outlet in one room and then connect the servo on another outlet in another side of the loop of the room you're gonna have a, a ground loop the size of the room so because all the electrical run it probably end up in the same point but uh, you're gonna have uh, the whole room creating a loop that will be transmit too much noise so you can see here it's not much noise um, on the computer side which is what we need this is more power running through which is expected because it handles both the computer and the uh, so let's see here so it's still not a lot so there's not EMI come back because of the filter right there okay okay that uh, should be a simple example of how to handle the wiring so we don't get ground loops at the EMI interferences in uh, using the solid. Mm -hmm.